Okay, my soldiers and soldierettes. I recently came across a video by a beta thug uh, asking what he think is a tough question. He think he's putting men in the, on the spot, you know what I'm saying? He thinks he's doing something, you know? He put on his little cape for the women, you know what I'm saying? Flew down like Captain Save Him, you know? And he thinks he's saying something, saying something slick. But let me show you what's wrong with beta thugs and these kinds of, of, of beta males. Let me expose this dude right quick. So I'm gonna play the video, it's real short. You're gonna hear him do his thing. And then I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna talk about it. Let's roll right now, come on, let's get it. So this question for the men, why do we cheat on good women? We get a woman to check every box. I'm talking about good personality, sense of humor, take care of this. I'm not a man that believe in gender roles, but she take care of home, she take care of the kids. She treat us with respect, she ain't annoying, she don't get on our nerves, she ain't clingy. She a lady in the streets, <laughs> in the sheets. She always wondering, have you ate? And if you're not, she finna whip it up and bring you a plate. Gonna go that extra mile for you. I'm talking about always thinking of you. She ain't even high maintenance. It don't even take a lot to please. But for some reason, we always want to go after something that don't even compare to this one. I'm talking about on no level. When people see who done broke up a happy home, <laughs> he did that for us. That's what we been I've been sitting and pondering a lot of things and they so happen to be one of them. So men, why is it that we can have it all and still be a dog? Let's talk. Let me first get into what he said about the gender roles. He said, I don't subscribe to gender roles. Me neither. But I do acknowledge the inherent and innate gender natures of men and women that is prescribed to us by our creator. I acknowledge that. I don't expect no woman to act like me and no woman should expect me to act like her. It's got nothing to do with gender roles. I understand, see that the whole thing about gender roles is really a, a, a socially defined phenomenon. It is something that's created by Western society, the whole gender roles thing, that's a societal thing. So any woman expecting a man to feel about a relationship the same way she do, she don't understand men. And any man that think he's supposed to feel the same about a relationship as a woman does, he don't understand himself. In fact, he's not a man. He's not a man. Because what we talking about is innate. You all know it, you might not want to admit it, but that's why you come to the Black Alpha. I'm going to just say this stuff because I know how to articulate this stuff in a, in a straight matter of fact way because this is the way I've always lived. I understand it. So no, I don't do gender roles. I can wash my own clothes, cook my own food. My wife is not my maid. I, I, don't, I don't do socially defined gender roles. But the universal laws of nature are different. I will acknowledge that because those laws come from God. They come from our creator. And I will acknowledge that. So I don't innately expect a woman to act like me. And a woman should not innately expect me to act like her. And no man should think that he should feel towards a relationship the same as a woman. First of all, nobody in a relationship feels the same. When you got two people in a relationship, one is going to always start to want that relationship more than the other. Now, I'm not saying by any means that I don't love my wife with all my heart. My wife is a genuinely good person. I would not trade her for the world. You know, it, 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 she's a good woman. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I got lucky. She's, a, she's a, actually a good human being. But she chose me. But anyway, I don't want to get into that right now. That, that's, that's a topic for another day. But the point is, I don't do gender roles, but I do recognize gender differences, right? Okay, the next thing. Why do you smash and dash? The reason you smash and dash are not the same reasons you marry. Now, I understand that there's a horrible teaching, a horrible misconception that floats around among these man spaces that basically reduce the role of a woman to a sex doll, you know, somewhere in between a sex doll and, and, and a domestic slave. And the truth is, there should be a million reasons why you chose the woman that you are traveling with. And sex and domestic slavery should not even be on the list at all. That is a traveling mate. That is not a sex dog. That's your traveling mate. That is your friend. That is your companion. Y'all have a whole different type of connection. Yes, 
you want to have sex, you want to have some fun, you want to you want to do all that stuff. But you got to understand, man, when, when you've been together long periods of time, everything slows down except the bond. The bond itself. The bond itself has to be bigger than just sex. And nobody wants to be nobody's slave. So sex and domestic slavery should not even be on the list. So the reasons why you smash a chick or and dash are different from the reasons why you choose a traveling mate. So to make it sound like you're breaking up a happy home behind somebody who don't compare or can't compete, she don't have to. The reasons why you smash and dash are different. She don't have to be what your wife is. She don't have to be what your, what, what your wives are. You know, the reason you smash and dash are just different. So that was silly for him to even say that because one has nothing to do with the other. You're talking about two different categories. Look at the video I did about uh, uh, only two reasons why you get with a woman. You know what I'm saying? You smash and dash so you night up and wife up. You know what I'm saying? I talked about that. In fact, I got, I got two videos where I hit on that topic. You know what I'm saying? You smash and dash so you night up and wife up. So these are two different categories. They don't, they don't have to be the same type of women. They don't have to look the same. They don't have to act the same. Two completely different categories. And a lot of times, what you will smash, the bar is real, real low on that, to be honest. You know what I'm saying? I mean, what you will marry, the ball might be up here, but what you will smash, the ball might be way down there. You know, a, a red ant might have to duck his head to get up <laughs> to get up under the ball. You know what I'm saying? The ball could be low, depending on the man. It just depends on the man. The ball could be real low as to what you will smash. You know what, my brothers, the problem with this whole rant is that. If a man has to ask that question, then he's not much of a man at all. Now, I'm not knocking the men that have chosen to live or participate in a monogamous relationship. I'm not knocking you. But I would hope that even you brothers that have chosen to do that, understand that that is your choice. And I hope that you acknowledge that monogamy itself is not a natural uh, 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 characteristic of the human male. It's not how we are designed. Between 2000 and, and as recent as 2020, you've had scientists constantly looking into the whole phenomenon of, of, mon uh, of monogamy. And each time they conclude that men are not monogamous. Now, whether or not women are monogamous, that's like, you know, 80-20, uh, 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 right? 20% say women are not, 80% say women are, you know? But there's no question about the nature of men by none of these scientists. In fact, the first study I seen was done by a whole bunch of female scientists that were all married. And I seen an interview with them after they did the research. They think the research lasted about six months and after they reached their conclusion, they all joked how they would be in prison if their husband ever decided to be with another woman though. Yeah, he might not be monogamous, but he better not step out. Now these were white girls too. They wasn't even black women. So I know what y'all think. And no, it wasn't sisters. These were all white women. They were just joking about their husbands better not step out. Although they did the research and have concluded that men are just not wired like that. That men are just not wired like that. I remember about 25, maybe close to 30 years ago, before Essence Magazine became a, 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 a feminist weapon, um, there's an article in there talking about this very topic about why men cheat. And a female wrote the article. I, I, I got all this recall, man, you know, since crazy. And um, what she said was, she said, for a man, cheating is like walking into the kitchen and seeing a, a beautiful, fluffy slice of cake on the counter. She said that he wasn't even thinking about the cake before he seen it. Don't even want it, really. But he's going to eat that cake just because he can. And she said that this is how men are when it comes to women. They basically do what they can do. If a man can have multiple women and many women, he's gonna have many women. If a man can't, he's not. It's about as simple as that. What we are dealing with is not so much as just what men can. We're talking about the human nature, the hard wiring of a man. 
And any man that are above the age of 30 or 35 that don't understand that men are simply not hardwired that way. They just, uh, they, they miss out somewhere. Now, if you're young, I can get it. I, I get it. You know, you've been, you hear all this stuff about monogamy and you think that's the way it's supposed to be. Listen, that's not going to be as easy as you think it is. If you make that choice, you have to understand that you are making a choice that goes against your nature. And you've heard me already say that none has a right to legislate but a law. When you put man-made laws on top of God laws, you have a problem. Because the God laws are going to win out every time. It is hard for a man to be monogamous if he has options. It's just hard.